off that calamitous music immediately. Good morning, Dexter. Are you ready to start the day refreshed and hopeful? Lillian, why must you interrupt my slumber with such cacophonous sounds every wretched day aboard this miserable ship? I'm sorry, Dexter. No, you're not. But the cargo freighter 626, all systems fully functional, is en route to Deltron Station, approximately 23 minutes away. So why couldn't you simply have awakened me just a few minutes before our arrival? Because we are just a few minutes away from a mandatory inspection. And as the ship is a tiny minute, I do not believe it would be appropriate for me to allow you to sleep in any longer. But I got... May you please just shut your unholy mouth already. I have heard enough of this. Of course, Dexter. But as the ship is I would not possess such physical features unless I could project myself as a holographic entity. With thin millions of molecules in Brahmin Blueprints and benign beginnings Life's evolving, unrelenting, unintending The dismemberments of dark stars falling apart Splitting pieces of the particle puzzle seismically Chaos curves the cosmos create stardust Violently eternal, internal intensity Reaching external geothermal density Until EXTRA terrestrial reproductive proclivity Yields mitosis to fold into a town, into a city Determines destiny by origin and geography Then see of humanity, seed cell splitting genealogy is DNA dormancy, leaves a latent key for clay monkeys, creatures cursed with dualistically inclined divine features, some the summer saviors here to save your old souls. X told the foretold Bodhisattva leaders, behold an homage in like all.